What's up guys? So we're gonna start this um, video by just starting with a little bit of safety. We're gonna be messing with these exhaust fans. These are my starters for all my exhaust fans and supply fans. So first of all, set all of our starters to off, turn the disconnects off here. All of these are set to off. This is my control panel. I've killed the breakers to each one of these and I'm the only one that has a key and you can see they're locked. So safety first. You don't want these exhaust fans starting up when you got your arm in there because you lose your arm. Um, here's our handy dandy map here to show me where our exhaust and supply fans are. Uh, basically supply fans on this side, exhaust fans on this side. This is all plant area. So we supply the air and then draw it out. All these exhaust fans are tied into outside dampers. So we got an actuator at each one of these points that we'll have to go check out and make sure they're operating as well. So as, as I said before, it's all about customer service. We're providing a service to the customer. Let's try to provide the best service we can and do the best job that we can. So let's get in here, see what we got going on. some exhaust fan basics nothing real special about this we got about a 10 horse exhaust I believe 10 horsepower um, all your basics with your motors um, these slots is where the air moves through so you want to wipe them down real good make sure all these slots are clear this is where all the dust collects these are exhausting crap out of the whole building so it is nice and dirty. I like to wipe down my pulleys on the insides, make sure none of that dust and crap is in there, make sure my belts don't slip. And uh, we're gonna take the blower to this motor. Battery's starting to die on the blower. <coughs> so, make sure we're cleaning our blowers up to get them good and clean and breathing. And we're gonna wipe our pulleys down uh, over here on our bearings. I see these things get neglected, over greased or not greased enough, but you can see all that grease inside of there. These are not that old, but what I like to do just come in here and let's get all that old grease out of there you can see there's a lot of grease down in there and as that collects grease and dust over the years it'll actually become an insulator and cause your bearings to overheat so we're gonna these good and cleaned up and then we'll uh, have at them with some grease so the next thing we want to do is make sure we clean our grease ports um, you don't want to be pushing any dirt or debris, anything that's on the outside of there. You don't want to be pushing that inside of the bearing. So let's clean them up real good. And then we'll get some grease on these guys. Always consult your manufacturers. They're all always going to tell you the exact way they want it done. Um, this is just the way I do it. But uh, you can see we got our grease cleaned up out of there. So we got a nice clean bearing. And then... Um, we're gonna give her a spin and add some grease. You can see a little bit of that old grease in there. We're just gonna add till we can just barely see it push out. So now we've got our bearings greased. Don't over grease them. We don't need to have grease spitting out of everywhere. And then we wanna clean up our fittings here. 
make sure they're not picking up any of that dust and dirt. So that's the basics. Keep your motors clean. Clean your pulleys. Sprinkler guys didn't like me on this one, so that's nice. But uh, we're gonna get new belts on this thing and turn this guy on and see what she sounds like. All right, so here are our actuators. These are our outdoor air dampers here. So when our exhaust fans energize, these actuators energize and open our outside air dampers. That way we don't draw uh, a negative on the building and basically if these don't open, the exhaust fans run, we can suck all the air out of the office space. So these are commonly missed and neglected there's not a whole lot of maintenance on these things, guys. Um, I just like to come in here and clean them up a little bit. Um, we'll take the blower to them as well and just get some of the dust and crap off of them. Um, you can oil some of your linkage and just get a couple drops of oil on all your contact points to make sure they're moving freely. But uh, basically just want to verify that they are operating. This all goes back to knowing how your building works. Um, and providing the best service to the customer. So we're gonna check each one of these. Um, what I have seen before, um, I think I replaced one of these actuators uh, back when the building was new because it was actually, uh, the linkage wasn't connected right. So when it tried to open, it just kind of locked up and the actuator ended up failing. So um, we should be in the closed position because our exhaust fan's not running and we are. And we've got, I don't know about eight to ten more of these things and we're gonna go through and just check them all make sure it's break time make sure they're all closed and then we turn the exhaust fans on we're gonna make sure they all open mine guys but clean it up when you're done don't let something you did or didn't do be the reason for losing a customer
that's some common things on these buildings that get missed or half-assed done, guys. So be better at the tedious things that we do every day. Focus on the small things and big things will come to you. Like and subscribe, leave me a comment, and we'll see you guys on the next one.